All right, next spot. Uh, of course, as soon as I walk out, I see a giant black gin tilapia. Well, there he is. He will not bite. <clears throat> He's already seen me. Um, this is a spot that has documented American flagfish, which I will not be catching because they either don't exist or they will never bite on my offerings. That I am sure. That I am sure. Or of that I am sure. Uh, there's a very interesting spot, however. Is it, you know, I don't think anything is going to come out of that giant black chin. Uh, there are other uh, micros in there. Probably some of them are black chins. A little bit of shade here and there on the fringes, which is right where you want the shade to be. This little bridge gives me a chance to uh, drop in the bobber softly, which is nice. Uh, I'm trying with a uh, red worm first. I'm going to go to a uh, micro after. Oh, that's why I was trying with the red worm first. And we have species number six, a spotted sunfish. A native gets in on it. In on the act. All right, my phone's in the car. Yeah. All right, so I finally remembered to bring my uh, a hand towel and forgot my phone. There we go. Um, yeah, I just have my face guard back up. So I look like the invisible douche. I mean, invisible man. Um, slide right back in there again. No. Nope. I can see up creek or up ditch or whatever, there's a really fast current where the water gets skinny over there. But nothing is moving here, which is really strange. Uh, there's got to be some movement somewhere. Here's where the current is. I just couldn't see it. Sucked my bobber right up underneath the, the weeds there. Alright, so probably not a fish going to be sitting there. With all that current. That's a, that looks like just a, just a bluegill. I don't, oh, oh, no, there's a black fin. Or black chin, I mean. Yeah, it's gotta be a bluegill because he took the bait. Yeah, bluegill. Um, yeah. While well, the black chin ran. You can always recognize black chin under the water. You will know them by their cowardice. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Get out of that fishing hole, he says. <clears throat> I actually looked at him. I actually thought he was serious, but uh, he was. Then he was started laughing. All right. How's it going? Is there a fish here? Oh, on that side's better. Oh, okay. I was about to try that because nothing really is. I just got one bluegill and that was it over here. No, a tilapia server. Oh, nice. That's where I came for. I, I saw one big Are tilapia. You got, you got dobo? No, I don't. Is that, dobo. is that what they're after? Okay. Yeah, you know uh, the biscuits, uh, the little round ones that oh, yeah. you cook in the oven? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. You got to go over there. All right. Uh, I'm wondering if there's a grocery store around here. Uh... All right, on the advice of counsel, I went and got bread balls. It's already been proven wrong, and I knew it was, uh, about the direction. Oh, there's a black bass, which in Florida would, uh, at least this part of Florida, oh, big black bass, would always be a large one. Uh, he's already wrong about the direction of the, of the flow of water, which I knew at the time, but it did occur to me that uh, all those big black chin tilapia were never going to bite a worm or a shrimp or anything because, well, I just imagine... You know, they're tilapia. Uh, blue tilapia will eat worms when they're little. Oh, there's something. And it is whatever this is. Uh, but, oh, that's a small fish for a big hook. There's a little spot. Yeah, a little spotted. I was starting to think I got a really cool great fisher. Um, like a, a life lifelister. Uh, nice, nice spot. 
But anyway, you know, blue tilapia when they're little, they'll they'll hit uh, worms, whatnot. Uh, but when they get bigger, they are become vegetarians, and uh, they're no longer the omnivorous folks that uh, they start out to be. And I'm um, thinking since black chins are tilapias, that might be their deal as well. But uh, in any event, there's no way to do what he said to just float. So, because uh, the current's going the other way, going towards me, which I knew it was. All right, there is a huge gaggle of fish here, like six to ten inches long. Looks like a combination of Mayans, black chins, one big largemouth bass, ah, and a couple bluegills. I'm gonna throw this around there. They're all gonna spook. Take a guess at which one of them is gonna bite. Uh, hint, rhymes of oogills. See? Yeah, the thing I wanna do, oh, that's pretty though. Look at those purples on the face. Gotta. Gotta give appreciation. Yeah, the bluegills are the only things that didn't scatter. Even the bass, well, bass scatters. Everything scatters when it's in a foot of water with no uh, cover. Oh, those are all black chins. The big one ran under the, under the, weeds. The little ones did not. Putting it over in the shade though might actually give something non-bluegill the cover and confidence it needs. Something's got it. I have a feeling this is going to be all day uh, where the black chins are. It's almost worth, I mean that's worthy of a picture. I just don't want to up a bunch of space, worms, wow, just right in the tree, just threw right in the tree on the other side of the creek, the ditch, whatever, and there, they're going to be bluegills because they're coming right back, oh, ooh, it's one of these gold ones though, no, nope, that's a tilapia, that's, that's, of course it's a nice big black chin tilapia, that's why it's caught in the tree. That's a PB, actually, black chin. It is literally wrapped six ways to Sunday in that tree. Ah. Sheesh, I could go get them, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna get them soaking wet. I could unwrap them if I could stop the tree from moving. But I can't. Maybe get around it a little bit. Oh yeah, I did it. I yeah, got it once. Oh. Got it twice. Oh, three times, lady. Yeah. How about that. God, it, it, oh wow, he fell off and then got him in the. Uh, oh, this one's got a nice little yellow stripe. Oh yeah, that's what I came for. That's nice. So just really cool colors, uh, took a photo up close. Now that I've caught a few, I can see with the first one I got, had the yellow streak like that. Remember I said when I caught it, I said, oh, I know what that is, but I don't know what it is. Uh, I didn't even realize at the time that this was the, I was, I had banana, not banana, giraffe top in my mind. But, uh, but yeah, this is a PB for sure, for me. Um, well, no, actually it looks like about the same size, one, two, three, four five six inches it's probably exactly the same size which you know it's still a pb it's just ties it instead of breaks it all right 
there's some shade down there. He was one of the bigger ones here, so I think I've already... Oh, thank you God for letting me get that out of there. Um, I've already used up this spot. I'm going to try in the shade, see if there's something. There could be something different here, but there's not. <laughs> they're so colorful, though. When they come out of the water, I think they're not bluegills. Shiny gold, man. Shiny gold. Yeah, this is the most pictures of bluegills I've taken a long time. Oh, I spent more. Ow, and yet still big enough to ugh, poke me. Alright, try to see if there's anything up close to this cover here. It's not a bluegill. That's a bed right there for sure. Oh, this is uh, something different. What is this? This looks like a pumpkin seed. Um, it is a red breast. All right. Species seven. Another native comes along. Very nice. All right. Again, taking that gold calf here. Another spot, it would appear to be. Yes, nice. Oh yeah, that's a pretty spot. It's got a lot of colors for a spot of sunfish, I tell you. You know, the drawback, I will tell you, of having these uh, sunshade gloves, in addition, uh, it's a nice color on his head. Let me get that. In addition to coming out of the box, tattletale yellow, and uh, making it look like a hobo. Uh, I can't measure fish against my hand in pictures very well. Because uh, I generally, uh, I'll see where, really? I'll see where on you know, my hand the uh, fish begins and ends. Uh, and when it begins and ends anywhere on the palm or fingers, I can, you know, I can mark them, I can see them by uh, where they are in relation to the lines on my hand, you know. Oh, spot. They all come up looking like pumpkin seeds, they're so golden. Um, I'll give this a few more minutes. What on earth, iPhone? I, I close it every time, like all the way close, hard close. And yet, it, it's, it's like opening apps and burning my battery. Like it has several of the last few outings. I've run out of camera battery because it apparently thinks my pocket wants to listen to iTunes or something. Which I don't even have. All right, is this a tiger stripe? It is not. <laughs> oh, it's not really fine. All right, well, Lord Blue Go. Right, I'll give it basically till the end of this. I was hoping to turn uh, the bread into dough balls and then turn the dough balls into a uh, big tilapia on the hook. But I think the only thing I'm gonna turn Oh, that's another red breast. It's beautiful. The only thing I'm going to turn that bread into is beer. It's just fermenting in the sun right now. In the bag. I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to smell that yeast cooking. I love the native sunfish, man. They don't care about plops. There's no such spooking. No, no such thing as spooking bluegills, spotted sunfish. Basically, no such thing as spooking a lapomus. Probably the reason they've been able to uh, remain a going concern as you know native species with all these invasives. Take it. You can run over there that fast. Take it uh, because uh, they're very aggressive, scared of nothing. Wow. 
those fish looking at it. I keep thinking a dollar sunfish is going to pop up, but not probably not going to happen. The red breast, though, just keep getting smaller and, you know, keep surprising me coming out of the water. So, you know, no complaints, I guess. I notice the bigger fish are starting to pass over the bait. Let's see if there's anything right there. Yeah, there is. Oh. Oh, I don't know if it was right there or it came back over there. There, that might be yeah, it's right there. Oh. Oh. Another bluegill. Oh, that's a pretty copper nose on this one. Oh, because he's a tiger stripe. Nice. That's six, seven, eight, species eight. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. And he took my worm, thank you. Oh, no, it's in his mouth. We'll come back. Eh, I'll use that. I mean, look at that face, that is so gorgeous. Ridiculous. A bluegill this small. It has such amazing colors on his face. This is what else? Another spot. No, no, no. The red breast. And uh, if he didn't take more, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. Next spot. Oh, iPhone. All right. Nice, nice, nice. No, he didn't. There's still a little worm nub, but you know.